you've known Oprah a long time. I've known Oprah a long time. What did you make of the whole Zempic Weight Watcher uh, thing that she got herself into? I mean, I thought she got out of it in very Oprah style, which was to turn it all into a kind of, uh, you know, a TV special, as Oprah does very brilliantly. But did you feel that... Let's take a look at it first. Let's take a look at this. I took on the shame that the world gave to me. For 25 years, making fun of my weight was national sport. And then I read the headline that Mr. Blackwell, the tastemaker of the time, called me bumpy, lumpy, and downright dumpy. Because when I tell you how many times I have blamed myself, because you think I'm smart enough to figure this out, and then to hear all along, it's you fighting your brain. Now, like I say, Oprah did what Oprah does best. She, she turned it into basically about her being a bit of a victim and people picking on her, and this isn't what it seems. But on the face of it, Phil, I don't, I don't want to be unkind to Oprah, but I think if you're you know, one of the key faces of Weight Watchers, encouraging millions of American women <clears throat> that they should be losing weight in a certain way as dictated by Weight Watchers, and it turns out you've been secretly on a Zempic, which is a drug that makes you uh, stop having pangs of hunger. Um, that is a deceit on the American people, isn't it? Well, uh, I don't know what you, what timeline uh, you're looking at, but I can tell you this: when I when I pick up uh, a, a, a news article or see something online that says so and so admits to using Ozempic or whatever. You know, I, as you know, I spent a lot of my time in the litigation arena. And I, I, I associate the term admit with a confession of wrongdoing. And I, I see these different stars and they come out and say, uh, you know, this, this female uh, movie star admits using Ozempic or this male actor admits using this. Um, what the hell business is it of anybody what somebody's doing in terms of their medical management? And what does it mean admit using it? Is there, is there some wrongdoing in somebody well, I, okay, so uh, I would counter getting that. with their physician I would and doing that. something I, with their physician? I would say generally you're right. But on the Oprah case, and again, I've got an enormous respect for Oprah. She's a, an absolutely brilliant uh, businesswoman. She's a brilliant television person, etc. And has done me a few big favours over the years. But if you're representing Weight Watchers, and that is not actually how you yourself are losing weight, and you get caught out having denied you're using one of these drugs, and then you have to admit it, you're kind of admitting not a crime, but you are admitting that you've been deceiving people, aren't you? She didn't have to say anything at all. I think what Oprah did was discover that there was a really uh, uh, some breakthrough breakthrough science that has identified that there are certain functions at a neurological level uh, that cause people to be weight loss resistant, and they have spent years degradating themselves, putting themselves down, suffering uh, in terms of of self-worth, self-esteem, self-blame, being the butt of criticism and jokes. And she discovers, you know, all of that time that I've been degrading myself, um, I, I've, I've learned that there's something more to it than that. And so I'm doing something about that. And so I'm here to tell you of this revelation that I've had and share that with you so you can escape that suffering the way I have. Oprah could have kept her mouth shut and not said a word to anybody. Doesn't owe anybody an explanation. It doesn't have to say anything about it, but she chose to do so uh, because she discovered something that she thought a lot of people, particularly women, uh, were suffering through. And she's, I think she thought, look, I, I'm going to take some heat for this. But I owe it to people uh, to, to share this revelation 
and give them an exit ramp just like I've taken. And I commend her for doing it. I mean, obesity is a massive problem in America, isn't it? Uh, how much of obesity is. is down to, in, in the United States, is down to diet, fast food, all the obvious things? And how much of it is down to mental strength, the ability to, you know, reject the temptation, if you like, of all the fast food and so on? Well, I think it's a complex issue. And I, I think there are some people uh, that... They, they have a metabolism that, you know, they could eat uh, a, a cow and um, everything that goes with it and not be affected whatsoever. And then there are some people that can, you know, walk by an ice cream parlor and, you know, it just seems by osmosis, they just absorb it and can't get rid of it. Um, and I, I, I think that there's a, a, a whole spectrum there. And whether you're on... Uh, an Ozempic type drug or not, uh, you're going to have to uh, make lifestyle adjustments, uh, or you know, there's no there's no quick fix. There's no easy way out. You're still going to have to do the things that are necessary for long term success. And uh, there's a behavioral component. There's a mental component. There's a medical component. There's a neurological component. And it's not just one size fits all.